In remote parts of the world, specialized health care is typically difficult to provide. When medical facilities are distant, primary care can be intimidating, and follow-up care is often absent. On the high plateau of the Navajo Reservation, many of the men are farmers and ranchers. Hand injury is common. Rheumatoid arthritis is endemic, and joint replacement a frequent prescription. In 1993, Dr. Charles Hamlin founded the Hand Clinic in Chinle, Arizona to care for this underserved population. The extraordinary success of the Chinle Hand Clinic can only be attributed to his earnest determination and his compassion for the people he serves. Well, your hands reflect clear changes of rheumatoid arthritis. For stability, we fuse the tendons and the nerves to the fingers. Mm -hmm. And if we open the roof of the tunnel, the tunnel is bigger and the nerves feel better. And this will make you happier to do this. Your medicine man did a good job reducing it. The joints are back in position. Now we're here the third week of every month. And if it's not perfect, or if it's not what you want it to be, say in April, uh -huh. you come back and see me, I'll be here. Chinle, unforgiving, uh, barren, austere, and yet kind of big sky beautiful. It's not the geographic center, uh, but it's the spiritual center of the Navajo Nation. The nation is bigger than the state of West Virginia, so you can't see the sacred mountains, but Chinle being where it is represents kind of the center of these four spiritual monuments mean so much to the Navajo people. And at this core stands the famous Canyon de Chez, kind of a mythical place that the Navajo returned to from Fort Defiance in the mid-1860s when they were exiled uh, for all the reasons we sadly know about. We chose Chin Lee because of its central location on the reservation so that in a way it's easier for patients to get here. And we started about seven years ago in June, I think. Every month for a couple of days, and operate one day and see patients another. After coming for about a year and a half, I started to talk with enthusiasm about the beauty of the place, and some of my colleagues really wanted to come as well. So we now have a small group of loyal attendees who take time out of their schedules to come longer distances than I do and are always full of good stories as well as good cheer about what they've seen, what they've done. One of the uh, aphorisms I made up for this clinic was that uh, it's amazing how much you can get done if no one has to get the credit. And what I didn't want was people to come down and spend a couple of days, then go home and have something written about them as if they'd done something wonderful. And I, so I, the joke was no publicity. So my accepting this award is a violation of <laughs> that principle. But it uh, recognizes both the beauty of the Navajo and maybe a tradition of service that the academies had for a long time. And uh, I'm not embarrassed, but proud for the group and for the hospital that we've done it.